Hello everyone and welcome back to Austria. So today, I know it took me a while, but today we are looking at the FDL 330S Watchman TV from Sony. Now, according to what I've seen online, it seems that it came out either 1989 or 1991. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of info on it, um, but it is quite a unique little product from Sony. And I don't have the original stand or the box or anything, I just have the actual little module. And I'm going to show you just how interesting this little TV can be. And then we'll do a little run through of, you know, we'll play a little bit of Michael Jackson on the TV so you guys can check it out. Um, but. Yeah, let's take a look here. So, see here we get four modules. First one being the monitor. It is a 2.7 inch TFT screen. Um, it's quite uh, quite a little bit heavy, of course, made in Japan. You see your headphone in, audio and video in. Sorry, it was headphones out. <laughs> On top, you see the brightness, the volume, which we'll get to in a second. On the side, you can see color and hue controls. So this is the first part. It's the uh, part FDM 330. So it's the LCD color monitor. Second part. Now, a lot of the TVs I've seen are missing this part. This is where the volume control on this came is the actual speaker section. So this is an active speaker SS003 and the way this would work, you would connect it and you would pop out the speaker, which is pretty neat. This is actually one of my favorite products that I own. I think I got back like six years ago and it was quite, quite, a, I was so amused when I got this. Um, this is the tuner. So here's the channels change display it would give you like you know the channel you're on this is the actual power on section so you connect everything it lets you turn it on from here it has a memory has a little battery compartment for the memory storage this is the VTM 330 so it's the micro TV tuner and fine and last here is <clears throat> the battery section now this thing was designed to actually be run off the wall. It came with an AC adapter, mine didn't unfortunately, but they're not hard to find. And but mostly you would buy this for on the go. So back then, this little TV was you know when they had um, over the air, you know, uh, TV programming. Now here in the U.S. at least there's like literally no signal at all, and I think pretty much everywhere else there there may still be. I'm not sure, but. Um, yeah, the only to that. Um, yeah, this would this ran off of four double A batteries, and it, this is where a little stand would pop in, like a little plastic thing that would let it tilt. Unfortunately, I do not have that part, but you know you can't always have everything here. Um, yeah, so there were many configurations. A lot, some of the. One of the simplest ways you could use this was for, let's say, your video camera or you needed a monitor back then for pictures or something like that, video. You could actually connect it to the video cameras back then and go straight to AC power. Well, the, the, the power, the battery case here directly to the monitor and it would just snap in here. It would lock and you have a, a little micro TV. So... You could see here this would you know you could connect it use it as an extra monitor and on the outside you could see it had like a, there was an adaptive part that would actually kind of darken the area around it it's like a little scope little sightseeing in there um and you could take it like that now let's say that you were going personal and let's say you wanted a tv so then you actually bring the tuner you could directly connect to the tuner skip all that and you know that you need the batteries so you would just take batteries and you'd be ready to go you have your headphones you don't need a speaker 
So this was another microwave that's a little cube. Very, very super cool. Sorry for that plane. Let's just let that pass. Give me one sec. Mr. Plane, Mr. Plane. Come on, plane. Anyways, all right, plane gone. Not really, but anyways, let's continue. So from there, pretty cool is once you finally got it then say you want a speaker you want to share this out loud you know you could bring the speaker part in you have all these gold plated connectors as you can see so bring it in bring it in and you've got yourself pretty much the world's little micro tv and it was quite quite a little stunner as you can see there it was just very super cute and let's power it on this one actually works so let's take the battery compartment off and let's put some batteries here so it takes four double a batteries bring this here Connect it and let's turn it on. Yeah, and you got static. All white noise here. So see this how the the part of the speaker came out. Volume was here. Now this was pretty neat. I mean, for that time, it was quite quite cool. Um, I have to say this is one a pretty little innovative product that Sony really launched um, not sure on what the retail price is but if you see them online they can go anywhere from 100 up to 250 depending on the condition if you have the packaging if you, you know if it works if it has all the cables the manuals but I have to say this is this would have been a very super cool product back then like even now like there's a you, you can't i don't think you could go to the mall right now and you can find something that's this um appealing like it just captures you because of the way it's made uh, mine actually came with a broken antenna so it doesn't have a pull out but this would originally pull out um yeah it's uh Quite a little thing here so let's see i got a little bit of a dvd here so i have a connector that came with it and it's a standard uh av jack so you would just connect into the av in section and we should get some signal dvd player mm -hmm. so we hit play here and let's turn off this light here and you got michael jackson number ones and yeah, I mean, it's pretty neat, right? Press play on this, see if it even works. And yeah, you got Michael Jackson here. Pull this out. Now the speaker doesn't go that loud, but then again, it is for a more personal use. But it was, it's a very neat thing. You know, it's one of those Sony products that probably Back then, a lot of people didn't really see. It was probably more of an order basis product, but it was a very, it's a professional product to be honest. I feel like they just really nailed it, and the fact that it still works even after almost 30 years is quite astonishing at some of the quality products that Sony created. And you know, a lot of the stuff today is designed to not be repairable, to not be, you know, in the long term. And yet here we see a great example of modularity of, you know, if this tuner gave out, this product could still be used just by having the AV in. If the monitor gave out, you could find another monitor and replace it. It just, it just offered endless possibilities and combinations of how the product could be used. And yeah, we don't get, you know, TV over the air anymore, but it's um 
you know, here I, I still got it working, as you could see. And, of course, I'm not going to be watching a DVD on on this little TV here, but it's, it's just cool that you can even do that. Um, you know, here you can see a little bit closer. And give a little bit of sound here, pull out the speaker. But to not get copyright, you know, let's turn that down a bit. But for video, pretty cool. Super cool product, to be honest. And, yep, this is the exploration of the Sony Watchmen. And hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit sweet and short and straight to the point. I hope I shall have more very interesting videos for all, for all of you soon. Yeah, thank you for watching, and you know, as always, have a great weekend, and I'll see ya.